Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nadia Moor and in this video I'm gonna show you how to add angel wings and also how to add skid smoothing and LUT uh, to your project. Let's close this project and you we're gonna use um, like this assets and I'm gonna give you this assets uh, in the telegram channel. It's going to be in the folder called Angel Wings Assets. So the link to this Telegram channel is going to be in description to this video. So also this Angel Wings, it's just like a, a frames from the GIF file that just got separated. So you can do like with other GIF, GIF files that, that are PNG, which is transparent. So you can use your own, but if you don't have your own, you can use this one to practice. Okay, let me close this. And also, I want to tell you that I have a, a Gumroad page. And in that Gumroad page, I sell different stuff like eyelashes, eye lenses, glitter, aerial filter, and some other stuff like a highlighter, contour, big eyes. So uh, eyebrows, so if you're curious, the link is going to be also in the description to this video. Okay, so let's begin new project. I'm searching uh, Spark Air Studio and I'm searching for this neck decoration one. So let me enlarge it. And I'm going to start with deleting this uh, bow tie. Just delete here and also delete here. And it's going to get deleted from the scene panel as well. Let me close the patch editor. And now I'm going to add assets and I'm going to uh, pick animation sequence. And then I'm going to pick new texture. And let me search angel wings. As I said, you can find this texture in my telegram. Open. And let's change frames per second, like, let's put 11. And also, I'm going to go to these frames and I'm going to click no compression. Okay, so now I'm play, clicking uh, here on drag here and I'm clicking add and I'm uh, searching for the plane. And this plane, I'm going to make it size 6 and six. And for the uh, position, I'm going to keep zero here. For the Y, it's going to be 0 0.055 and also zero for the uh, Z. Let me make it play. Now I'm clicking plus and I'm clicking create new material. And this material I'm going to call wings. And the plane I'm also going to call wings. Okay, and this material is going to be flat. And for the texture, I'm going to make an uh, animation sequence. So we have our wings. And now I need to create one more object and I click add object and it's going to be rectangle. And this object I'm going to call user. And now I will drag this rectangle above the face tracker, like in between, be between directional light and face tracker. And now I'm going to the layers and I'm going to add two more layers. Let me drag them down. So the red layer I'm going to call user. And the orange one is going to be BG, which stands for the background. Let me come back to the scene. And now I'm going to click on these wings and I'm going to change the layer and it's going to be background layer. And now I'm going for the user. I'm making the rectangle fill width and then fill height. I'm clicking plus on the material, create new material. 
this is going to be user material. And this material is going to be flat. And also I'm going to the camera and I the camera extraction and segmentation person. I'm coming back to the user. And then I will pick camera texture for the texture. And for the alpha, I use person segmentation. And now let me come back to the user and also change the layer. And layer is going to be user. So let me show you like far away how it looks. Looks like this. So now we need to add one more uh, rectangle. And this rectangle is going to be background. And actually, by the way, let's come back to the user. And for the user, we it's really important for the user material, we need to go to advanced render option and we need to disable this use depth test. So that's what I put. Now let's come back to the background and let make fill width and also fill height. Click plus for the material, create new material. Let's make, name this material background. And let's make it flat. Also for the texture, let's put camera texture. And also let's go to the advanced render options and now be disabling right to death. Okay, so we are done with this part. Now let's add one more face tracker. Face tracker. And let's add face mesh. And this one is going to be retouch. And I'm clicking uh, plus for the material, create new material. And then this is going to be retouch. And it's going to be retouching. And this retouch is big. Let me uh, put video of myself. You don't really can see it. So let's do add more and let's create face mesh. This one's going to be face show. I'm going to disable the eyes and mouth. And also I'm going to click uh, plus by the material, create new material. And this is going to be face show. And material for the face show is going to be flat. Also for the alpha, I need to drag a new texture. And let me come back to the assets panel. And it's going to be face mesh mask PNG. It's also going to be in the telegram. And when I go to advanced render options, it's going to be use depth test and write to that disabled. And also let's go to the face tracker, click texture extraction, also come back to the uh, face show material and use this texture for the face tracker. So now, as you see, our skin be became smooth. So now time to add the lot. So I'm going to the angel wings, angel wing assets, and let me drag, let me drag the color lot. color up patch and the lot that I created. So this is going to be, I'm clicking no compression, I'm clicking um, none for the filtering, and I'm going to the patch, show patch editor. And I'm dra dragging this patch, and I'm duplicating it. I'm going to go uh, command copy, command V, so I have two patches. And now I'm dragging the color a lot. And now I'm doing the connection through the RGB uh, A portal to the lot part. And now I'm going to the 
camera texture and I'm dragging it to the scene and also I'm, face, I'm picking face tracker texture and I'm also dragging it to the scene and I'm connecting both of those so let's connect to the texture to the texture and now I'm going to the um, facial material and I'm clicking texture to show and also I'm going to the background material and also clicking texture to show And now we can see, let me actually check one more thing. Yeah, it's flat. So now, as you can see, uh, we have our lot ready. Also, guys, the last thing we need to do, we need to go to the background rectangle. And then we need to pick the background layer. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And have a good day. If you like this video and you're planning to use these assets, please subscribe to, uh, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel.